last week we were looking at uh, euro and so this is where we took our cell set up we have been waiting for price to get to this level here so nevertheless uh, now you can see that our price is at this level here so we are anticipating for price to collect this sell side liquidity here that we have here but uh, now you can see that uh, as price was going down it left a lot of liquidity void with this candle here so i believe we might see price push up and get to this level of our auto clock here and then from this level of our auto clock we are anticipating a first test of this weekly order block here so we anticipating to see price push up this candle here push up and get to this level here and then from this level here we expect to see a decline in price we expect price to continue to go down after closing this liquidity void that has been created so now we are just uh, waiting for price to just come up and balance price and then continue to go down so if you look on daily let's look on daily if we can have uh, something so if it gets to look on daily so this is the level of our other block here and if you look close you can see that we have a fair value gap at this level here so these are fair value gap here and these are fair value gap here so we have a fair value gap and we have an order block so the same scenario that we had at this level here these are fair value gap and these are an order block and price got to this level patch through a little bit and then we get to see a significant decline so basically this is the same thing that we are anticipating to see taking place at this level here the same thing that took place here and we saw this the same thing that we are anticipating to see at this level if you go on daily time frame so if you look in daily you can see these what we have here so we also looked at uh, euro jpy so let's go to euro jpy so if you get to look on euro jpy you can see that we have this candle here which is our daily auto block and but at the same time if you look here and here you can see that this is a fair value gap okay so hence that's why i said fair value gap plus daily auto block because if you look in terms of fair value gap this and this week here they form a fair value gap so but uh, if you shift to a bigger time frame which is a weekly time frame you get to see that uh, this is an order block on weekly so it's still within this candle here of your order block so the weekly order block it's still within this candle of our daily order block so what we gonna be anticipating it's price to push up a little bit and then get to this level here and we see a decline or we might see price pushing up to our weekly order block and then we get to see price continue to go down so this is gonna be the sell side liquidity that we are targeting but uh, your first target it should be this level here because as price goes up and come back down this is gonna be the level you need to target as your first take profit and then as you can take profit you can target price to continue go down so you can target this sell side liquidity that is resting here so if you go on weekly so if you look on weekly you can see that uh, it becomes clear to see now what we have here at this level here so these the weekly other block that i was talking about here it's now clear so basically we are just expecting a retracement in price and then price continue to go down because um as the pound us dollar um, i mean the dollar index as the dollar index continue to push up we expect the other foreign currencies like euro nzd 
and euro JPY to continue to go down so if you get to look here beside the dollar index you can see that we have a break in market structure at this level here so these are break in market structure confirming that our price is now bearish so we have a bearish order flow so hence that's why i'm saying we are anticipating a reversal just to get here and then we get to see price continue to go down same thing if you get to look at this level here you can see that we have a break in market structure at this level here and then we have a break in market structure at this level here so i believe price has to continue to go down based on order flow so this is gonna be the reference points that price is gonna use as a turning point at this level to continue to go down so that's it for this video